Lions. It wouldn't be Masters Eve without a freak injury throwing chaos into the last minute lineup building. As if we needed more stress. Tony Finau rolled his ankle Wednesday afternoon during the par three contest, celebrating a hole in one, not a sex swing. Now, he did pop it back into place, but he's questionable for the Masters. I pray more information will spew out this evening to make this decision a lot easier. But with an 8.30 a.m. lineup lock for DraftKings contest and Fina with a 12.43 Thursday tee time, odds are we will not know his status by lock. Finau could withdraw after lock and be a zero in your lineups. He could play through the injury and be awful. Or he could just be fine. It sucks, so what do we do? Well, remove him from any cash game rosters immediately. I doubt he was in many cash game lineups to begin with, but if he was, no need to risk that. For tournaments like the Millie Maker, you got a decision to make. How risky do you want to get? The prudent move is fade completely. However, some people enjoy a higher degree of risk. And if the ankle is fine, you're getting a 1% Tony Fino, a guy who, even as a debutant, sets up quite nicely for Augusta. It's exactly like Dustin Johnson from last year, minus a lot of talent and upside. If he withdraws after lock and you have him, those lineups are dead, six feet under. That decision's on you though. Personally, I wasn't super tied to Finau to begin with, so I'm taking him out of my lineups and pivoting to Xander Shifley, Terrell Hatton, Ian Poulter, or Brian Harmon, or just scrapping those lineups completely and building from scratch. If he doesn't WD and his status is unknown, he makes an intriguing game theory play for the risk tolerant. Not for me though. Hopefully, Tony will do us a solid and let us know. But I wouldn't count on that. Experience! Experience!